Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the first half of October um, or from the time you view this uh, video when you view it you were meant to hear the message. Please keep in mind it is a general reading and will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. Okay so what I think this is um, what I'm picking up is somebody um, who has experienced betrayal in their past and it kind of haunts them and I feel it's like uh, you may give your your power over to those fears it's like letting those fears control you um, fearing that maybe what you have now uh, may not be real it's almost like that too good to be true uh, type of energy and you know, you're always fearing that you're going to lose it. Um, this is emotionally draining for you. Here she is, wanting to nurture a relationship, but she fears being betrayed. She wants this relationship to move up to, um, possibly even move on to marriage, you know, but moving it up a level. I feel um, you um, you want to move forward with this connection here, taking action on the connection, but you again may feel you only get half truths or that you can't. It's like you don't quite trust the situation. There's a lot of fears about the direction of this, but it's all I feel in the mind and it's attached to old fears. Not trusting. You need to make a decision about this and I, I feel as though you need to develop a new way of thinking because these are you know you're holding on to these fears with death reverse not letting them go I, I really feel this is all about somebody's um, uh, fears thinking you can't trust somebody but the wolf is in the reverse it flew out of the deck that way so I left it that way so I do believe that um, you're not trusting something and you can trust it believe me you can trust it but your emotions um, um, may be all over the place because of those fears you see we have the ten of swords here on this very deep connection and we have this person in concern a lot of worries unable to focus these fears are always in the back of their mind will they betray me and it just has their emotions all over the place so that they are uh, like this vampire here being emotionally drained feeling things are out of balance feeling like somebody might be being secretive not telling you the truth fearing a separation We have the chalice over here and we have the ace of cups over here. I feel that this is a very um, solid relationship here, but you lack confidence. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> Nine of swords on the ace of cups. And you go from that nine to the ten. It's not that you want to hang on to these fears. You want to put an end to this, but they just, they're there, you know. You have to learn to open up your heart uh, to trust again. Otherwise, you'll just 
keep carrying it through and carrying it forward and it will affect your relationship down the road so um, again you're you may be fearing bad news um, I feel however that this relationship will move forward successfully if you can get control of this and get rid of these fears maybe the only way for you to do that will be to talk it out with the person let them know how you feel maybe even why you feel that way um, talking is the best way to to get this out and express your emotions um, and just let it out have a heart to heart and you know that will help you I feel um, this is a card here of um, yeah, like you're yearning for something you're longing for it but you it's telling you that you have to open your mind and develop new views because your wish can come true with this card there is a a very strong chance of success here it's coming with the six of wands and the gryphon over here tells me that this person is very honorable so um, the only thing that is here that I see that is blocking this relationship is in your mind it's in your uh, memories of past situations that haunt you and maybe you know you've lost and you've experienced loss uh, in the past and now you're afraid of it you're afraid to lose again So, I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Many blessings.